Okay, PSA, before we get into the video, y'all, the video gonna start off normal like, like how it's supposed to, and then after y'all see what I vlogged and recorded, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk to y'all and break it down, show y'all the behind the scenes, the shebang, and all that other stuff. So, yeah, let's get into it. Period. <laughs> I'm back with part two of the fashion show and photo shoot day vlog. So as y'all can see now, I'm back at home. I'm in my bathroom. I'm sorry that the fan is loud. It's like every time the light comes on, the fan comes on automatically. We stay in like an older house that we renovated. So I really can't help it. So yeah, um, this is me. I'm about to get ready to go ahead and go to the location. The location is 45 minutes away from me. I have to be there at 6. The show starts at 7. I think it's like... 4 30 ish um i have an all black um anybody that has ever modeled or knows models knows that you're supposed to wear all black to casting calls etc 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 this shirt is not really ideal for a casting call or whatever but i forgot my bag in the car so when i get closer to the location i'm putting like you know a nicer top maybe in like a full outfit i don't i don't know it just depends on how i'm feeling so we're about to go ahead and get in the car and be on the way honestly i really hope i can get there a little faster so i can get some food because your girl is hungry i really haven't eaten today so hopefully either they have food there or i'm able to get some food once i you know figure out the location stuff like that so i'll be back guys okay y'all so let me come out here i'm outside the location I think I'm one of the first models here. Um, the promoter of the event is not here yet. She said she'll be here in 15 minutes. But she told me to just come in, you know, make myself comfortable. And when she gets here, she's gonna make sure I have wardrobe, all that stuff. She's gonna have somebody touch my makeup, etc., etc., etc. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't think I'm really gonna be able to film for real. And unfortunately, my parents and my friends couldn't come to the show. So I'm really here by my lonesome. So if I can, I'll put in some behind the scenes. But if not, I'll give you guys an update after. So love you guys. Okay, y'all. So we are backstage before the festival starts. Starts approximately. So these are the models. Some of them are still getting dressed. This is the lingerie that we're modeling. Hi guys. Yeah. Follow Bonnie L A N I underscore dog. I know that's right. All right, y'all. So we'll be back. Oh, so we'll be back after our first outfit. So yeah. Bye. Welcome back. So y'all seen the little clips that I had filmed or whatever. Cool. So like I said before, I was supposed to be there at six because the show was supposed to start at seven. So when I was recording that video, I looked on my iPhone, it was 6.05 and I was there early. I probably was there like 5.45 because mind you, you know, this is my first time working with these people. I really don't know them. I never practiced with them. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, you know, I want to make a good impression for one. For two, I also just want to be there to, you know, look out the scene, you know, shake my nerves off, all this other stuff because this is my first time really walking in a show. I haven't really walked in a show since I was like maybe like 10 and I just feel like that really don't count. So, yeah, so when I got there, it was downtown. Well, I don't think it's downtown. I don't know. It was in Little Five Points. So when I got there, it was already hard to find. So I'm looking at the buildings. I'm like, ain't no way a fashion show in here. Ain't no way a fashion show in here. Ain't no way. Like I'm thinking it's gonna be like a. I don't. I don't know what I thought. But I know I didn't think it was gonna be that. I'm thinking it's gonna be a nice building. You know, um, a parking deck maybe. Um, I don't know a big parking lot. Girl, it's in this little. The GPS brought me to this little hole in the wall. Or whatever but you know me i'm like you know any opportunity is an opportunity but when i first seen the building that should be my first red flag that this wasn't going to be the fashion show that i thought it was going to be the lady was supposed to be there like in 15 minutes she's supposed to be 15 minutes late for one that's already a bad look how are you the coordinator the whatever the ceo the boss lady and you're not there you have your models there for one that's just it's bad it's tacky it's bad for business because it was just me and a man in there the whole time until she got there the show was supposed to start at seven she didn't get there until closer to seven she probably got there like 6 45 and she was like oh we're gonna start around like i think like 7 30 or something i'm like okay cool you know i'm not really tripping or whatever cool <sighs> that's unprofessional literally it's just me and this man in here and i'm talking to this man i'm like okay so do you know where the dressing rooms is do you know where you know x y and z whatever he was like oh oh, 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 oh. 
I don't know, you know, I'm just here. I'm just her friend. I'm just helping out. I was like, you know, we changed now. Oh, I think y'all changed in this room. Da, 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 da. He don't know what's going on. I get there. The show's supposed to start at 7, right? Cool. I get there around like 5.45. I'm supposed to be there at 6. So I'm thinking when all the models get there around 6, you know, we're going to do like, I don't know, I guess a casting call, a practice, something. But literally nothing i get there and he's setting up tables he's moving stuff and stuff like that and it's just like if y'all was going to do a fashion show y'all already knew y'all was gonna have this venue y'all should have did what y'all had to do earlier on in that day why are y'all setting up an hour before i don't know that was like red flag number two because it's just like what are y'all doing it's giving very much unprofessional in the video um i was supposed to have somebody touch up my hair and my makeup and nobody was there to touch up my hair or my makeup I'm so glad that earlier that day I had a photo shoot because my hair and my makeup was already halfway done. But y'all know me, I really don't know how to do anything on the hair and makeup realm. So I'm just like, that was also a red flag. And y'all probably like, Janai, y'all not, you're not even all the way into the video and you got a whole list of red flags going. Why did you decide to mess with this lady? But this lady, I met her through my mom. Actually, I don't know how her and my mom met, but I was telling my mom one day, you know, I really want to pursue modeling. I want to do this X, Y, and Z. So she calls me. She was like, hey. I met this lady. She says that she um is like a mentor to young women. She helps them get their foot in the door. Da, 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 da. She has a fashion show this weekend. So that's how I got introduced to the lady. I'm not going to say her name because, yeah, I just, I'm just not. And I'm not going to take away from her as a woman. As a woman, she's great, whatever, whatever. But as a professional, piss poor, period. So now we're going to go back to what I was saying. So like, like I was saying, like there was no run through at all. Like, when I got out there, I literally had to wing it. I don't, I didn't know what we was doing. She basically came into the dressing room. The dressing room was this big, literally. It was a box. Y'all seen it in the video. If you don't remember how I look, go, girl, rewind it back. It was literally a box. It was, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. It was five. I think it was like five or six of us in this one box, literally. And we're all trying to change, trying to, they're trying to touch up their hair, their makeup. It was literally a horrible experience. We in there waiting for the lady or whatever. She bring her um, lingerie in. When she brings the lingerie in, I'm like, are you serious? You want me to model naked? That, that's not, that's not what I agreed to. Are you trying to pit me out right now? I did not sign up to model naked. I did not sign up to do this. So I'm just like, at this point, I'm just like, yeah, Janai, you gotta go. You gotta go. But deep down in my head, I'm thinking like, Bro, I didn't drove out here. Like, I might as well do what I have to do. Da, da, da. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity, whatever, whatever. But my gut, I really wish I would have followed my gut because I did not want to model no lingerie. I'm thinking it's going to be something avant-garde, something high fashion. You know, even if it was just streetwear, even if it was just like a, a top like this with a brand name, I wouldn't have had a problem doing that. But when you know that you have a brand that is lingerie or whatever like something that's out of the ordinary something that somebody may feel a little uncomfortable modeling she should have told my mama that from the get-go she should have told my mama hey yeah i help young girls get on or whatever but what well, she's going to be modeling lingerie i wish she would have told me that because i would have had the option to be like okay yeah i want to do it okay yeah i don't want to do it so i just was like yeah no i hated that part period so when we got in there she's pulling out all this stuff like and the whole time i'm thinking like i can't do this Mind you, the whole time this is going on, I'm still Miss Fort Valley. And anybody that has any knowledge about HBCU queens, they are very meticulous and very, like, I don't know. They're really iffy about how a queen carries themselves. If this show would have got back to anybody, my reign would have been over, period. Like, it just would have been over. So she had an assistant in there helping or whatever. And she, that was basically a sign of lingerie and stuff like that. I also feel some kind of way because this is like... This is lingerie and they said they wanted it back at the end so i'm like okay they said they wanted it back that means somebody's stuff had to be in here before so i kind of felt some kind of way i was like oh like this is kind of gross but you know i kept my panties on all that stuff so i wasn't just like bare i don't know if i could say coochie i wasn't like bare coochie in there or whatever so when um she was assigning um you know people lingerie or whatever i was telling her like mm, i don't know if i'm gonna do it or whatever I never modeled lingerie before and she was like oh is it because you know you don't know if you want to do it because you don't feel comfortable or it's just a first time thing and i'm just like kind of like a mixture of both i was like but you know i'll do it if i'm able to have a little more coverage than the other models so we had two different outfits the first outfit um was like a two-piece set like the ladies were like more so of like i don't know it was just really revealing but my two outfits were not as revealing as everybody else's the first one was more coverage and then i had pasties on 
as opposed to some of the girls decided to have their nipples out, whatever, free the tatas, free the nips. If that's what y'all want to do, cool. I just was not comfortable doing that. And um, some of them had on like thongs and stuff like that. So I had on something that had like more coverage on my bottoms and stuff like that. And then for the all black version of the outfit we were supposed to wear, they had on whatever they had on. I don't even remember, but um, I think it was supposed to be like a masquerade or whatever. And I had on like a black lingerie gown and I had some stuff underneath and I had like on my mask. So cool. That was the, the coverage or whatever. So they throw a male model into the mix. At this point, I'm just like, mind you, I already said it's like five or six girls. We all in this little cube getting dressed or whatever. And then y'all bring a male model into the mix. Now, this is when stuff started getting real unprofessional. The other girls was in there, like, they were just trying to, like, throw themselves at him. Like, they was feeling all over him. Oh, let me put some oil on your ass. And, uh, uh, and they're, like, making sexual advances. And I was just like, like, this is mad unprofessional. Mind you, the show was supposed to start, like, a little bit after 7. At this point, it's, like, 7.45, pushing 8. And I'm just like, what's going on? And then if you're supposed to have a male model, why don't you have your male model be here at 6 when all the models are supposed to be here? Because if that model really would have came in at 7.45, the show should have been going on already because the show was supposed to start at 7. Do you you see where the disconnect is going on at? Yeah, same thing I said. So I'm just like, yeah, they were just like all on him, feeling on him, making it jokes or whatever. It was just, I felt very, 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 I, I don't know. I just felt very... Oh yeah. So the show didn't start on time. Time just going on, going on, going on. So at this point I'm ready because I only got two outfits to put on. It's just lingerie. It's not like it's that much to put on. My hair and my makeup wasn't touched up. I mean, I already had what I had on from earlier. So you know I'm just sitting around, sitting around, sitting around. So she comes in, she's like, Y'all want some drinks? Y'all want some drinks or whatever. Everybody is, you know, drinking whatever, taking shots of Patron, Hennessy, all this other stuff. And I think I had actually like a oh thing. I think I had actually like a cranberry juice or whatever. So they had brought me some cran cranberry juice. You know, we all just waiting for the show to start. So the show actually started. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at this because I'm not trying to miss out nothing. Um, When the show was starting or whatever, I mean, we went out there and we did what we had to do. Um, They had a poll out there. And she was like, oh, make sure y'all interact with the poll. So y'all know me. I'm sorry, mom. Like, y'all y'all know, like, like I said, I already was uncomfortable. And for y'all to be throwing a pole in the mix, I don't know, this is just getting a little bit too much. And you want me to interact with this. Mind you, she's just like, okay, yeah, when you go out there, you're going to make a turn here, do this, do this, do that, do that, and third. We didn't have not one walkthrough, so I'm out there by myself. I'm just winging it. When you say winging it, I'm just winging it. I walk, you know, I interact with the crowd or whatever. I was a little sexy, but I wasn't, like, overly promiscuous. You know, I was doing what I had to do. I, really, I wasn't really on a pole, but, you know, I walked around there a few times, whatever. You know, pose, pose, just so they can get a full look, whatever. And they had photographers there. So, the whole time, I'm in my head. I'm just thinking, man, please let it be somebody professional here that sees me, that can scout me out. So, I really didn't feel comfortable being naked. For two, walking around a pole. For three, having random people take pictures of me. I just was like, I don't know. And I'm thinking about it now i have a really bad problem of telling people no and standing up for myself sometimes and i feel like in that moment i really should have stood up for myself and i'm working on that and i'm getting better with it but if i would have been the person that i am in may that i was in march and then y'all probably like janai that was just a few months ago still i probably would have walked away like how i should have i was so thirsty for an opportunity i was so desperate for an opportunity i was like I don't want to burn no bridges because I literally never know when I'm going to need her again. I never know what kind of connection she has or whatever. So I'm just going to do it. Just be, being weak-minded. Just, just being stupid, being dumb. So that happened or whatever. Cool. You know, the first, I was the show opener, actually. So, you know, the first walk was kind of cool or whatever. So we come back or whatever, you know. We, I think it was like an intermission. I think some people had like sung or whatever. Cool. It's given like a real fashion show. So, yeah. So we backstage. The male model, like, oh, yeah, I got some on deck. Yeah, I got so-and-so going. I got edibles. I got, you know, cookies. I got weed juice. Yeah, he's like, and I'm just like, yo, this is, like, happening for real. We are at a fashion show. Like, this is work for me. Even though I'm not getting paid, but this is work. I, like, I want to be as sober as possible when I'm going out here in these hills, walking in front of these people. I don't care what about what I got on or whatever. I want to be as professional as possible because at the end of the day, I'm trying to preserve my image. And I know you probably like, well, Janai, if you wanted to preserve your image, why are you out here modeling lingerie? 
And it's just like, y'all, shut up. Damn, my, and you better not talk about my bleach pants. How about that? Oh, yeah, like I thought. Like, but like, don't be judgy, because I feel like y'all judging me. Don't, 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 don't do too much, okay? But when he was like, y'all want weed or something, I'm just like, 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 this is a lot. Like, there, there's a lot of red flags, and I should have ran. But I'm just like, the whole, it's just very unprofessional. So they, during animation, they rolling up, you know. I don't know. Y'all, I ain't never made a video like this, so I don't know what YouTube gonna censor. But the whole time they, you know, rolling up trees. They, you know, you know, they doing what they doing with the trees or whatever. And I'm just like, this ain't how it's supposed to be. Like, Tyra Banks didn't do this. Or maybe she did. Naomi Campbell didn't do this. Or maybe she did. But the perception that they put on TV or whatever... I don't see that side of modeling or whatever and especially well, I'm modeling in a hole in a wall for free like that I didn't see no scouts I didn't see nothing it wasn't no real catwalk bro we was like I don't even know I'm about to put a picture of that place <coughs> does this look like somewhere that you will hold a fashion show <coughs> bruh I don't I don't even I don't even know what the real I don't even know what the purpose of that place is but no like yeah no so we just finna we just finna go to the next so after they you know took they and did they it was um part two so part two she comes back there she was like i'm gonna try to go out there i want to try to improv the male model gonna be on the stage i want to try to interact with him so i'm just like dang this is a whole bunch of interaction that i wasn't really prepared to do i mean if it was just a catwalk you know i'm mm, 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 you know i'm walking he walking i mean of course i don't have no interaction with that but literally like he like in whips and chains like on a chair this is a pole behind him he on the chair like this and she wanted us to be all up on him all in his lap all doing all x y and z and i'm just like that's a bit much and i told her i was like i really don't feel comfortable doing that like you know i pushed my boundaries the first time but the second time yeah i'm not doing that for one that's disrespectful to myself for two i have a boyfriend for three i found out about this opportunity through my mom i don't know but that just kind of made me feel some kind of way too because it's like what if my mom want to pop up and surprise me or what if she go and tell my mom oh i didn't know your daughter got down like i don't know it's just it was just a whole bunch of things going on in my head i'm just like yeah no i'm not doing that so she was like okay well you know you can just go out there and, you know improvise or whatever and do whatever makes you feel comfortable so i did what i did the first time I went over there, I walked or whatever, and he was sitting in the chair or whatever. I just walked around him. Hey, walked around him. Walked around him like two or three times. You know, I came towards the camera, did my little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thing again. So after that, um, what, what am I trying to say? After that, I came back in. The other models are going. So I'm looking through the curtain, and they they, they like y'all like they giving a full show like they 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 doing the dang on thing whatever whatever y'all want to do you know yeah do what y'all want to do and I, I don't want y'all to feel like oh i'm against i'm against people that a model or lingerie and stuff like that i'm just saying i'm thinking i'm finna experience a true bona fide fashion show and when i got there it was a ghetto fabulous mess like it wasn't what i really intended so it's not me throwing shade to her company or to the other girls it's just that I thought I was going to have something more refined and something of a higher caliber and not whatever was going on. Like, no, it was, it, it was, it was just not it. And then they all up on him and stuff like that. And then, you know how, like, when you watch a fashion show at the end, they want people to come around, you know, do the little, woo, the little model walk or whatever. So this is where stuff got real. So, ugh. So the model walk or whatever, um, this is where I found out that some of the girls I was working with were former strippers. Yeah. So um they out there, um, the model walk or whatever, they out there like dancing on each other, grinding on each other. Like literally it's girl and girl, like all up in it, like she on the floor doing this, another girl right here. You know how the um designer or whatever at a at the fashion show, whoever's collection it is, they'll come out and they'll be like, you know, who thank you for coming, support me, whatever. And you know, they'll say a little closing remarks. She she don't even have on like no, I'm not gonna say no nice clothes, but she on like a 
a sundress or something. She came out there, she started dancing with one of the models, and they all on each other. She been over, you know, dropping it low. Her boobies done fell out. I'm just like, Chop. this is too much. It's too much. So one of the girls, um, I'm supposed to be next after them, and I'm talking to the girl. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not going. Mind you, it's like all of us supposed to be going or whatever. But I don't know, they kind of set the scene for like all eyes to be on them. So I was just like, I'm not doing that. For one, it looks like a watchy. I'm not trying to participate in that. They're all out there doing sexual stuff. If I go in there and do my little one, two, whatever, I'm like a clown. So I, I drew the line there. I'm like, I'm not going out there to participate in that. And literally like, it wasn't even like a 30 second thing. It was like, literally they were dancing on each other and grinding all that stuff for a whole minute maybe like a song i don't know it was just really extensive so after all that happened you know i'm thinking okay it was a fashion show that was supposed to be it after that happened it was another stripper a stripper another yeah came and she actually got on a pole and she doing the whole splits i'm not, I'm not gonna lie my girl ate up but it's just like this was supposed to be a fashion show my first fashion show with at that so i was just like yeah this this wasn't what i was supposed to do and i'm probably well not probably i'm never working with her again she followed me on instagram so if she sees this i'm sorry i didn't drop your name or whatever but i'm never working with her again because it was just so unprofessional it was so raunchy it was something that i was not prepared for i'm thinking i'm gonna be in something like high fashion and it just was like very low class section a strip club like I, I i i don't know so i left around 10 by the time i left they turned that bit um, they turned that thing into a club like they got people in there twerking all this other stuff it's a fashion show i don't know maybe my perception is just different because of what i see on tv or what i see when i look up fashion shows on youtube but you should not be twerking in no fashion show you should not be grinding and loving and all that in no fashion show like at this point, you're not, are you promoting the clothes at this point? Or are you promoting yourselves and your own horny desires? So, yeah, that was, that was really it. I left around 10 and um, she had called me maybe like, I don't know, a few days later. And she was like, oh, thank you for coming out. You know, I hope you had a good time. I really enjoyed working with you, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, yeah, you know me, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna put you in the group chat with the other girls and I'm gonna let you know you know when some more opportunities are coming up i'm like <laughs> yeah i didn't tell her i didn't want to work with her again maybe because i was scary but i just it just wasn't my genre my sin i didn't want to make it seem like i was belittling her for doing whatever she wanted to do and how she wanted to handle her business i just know for a fact i didn't want to be a part of it so she was like you know to thank all the models for coming out i know y'all didn't get paid but you know i wanted to give y'all some kind of compensation so i'm going to do a free photo shoot with y'all so i'm just like okay i can do that you know i'm trying to get into modeling for real so you know i'm trying to build my portfolio so i'm like yeah she was like yeah it's gonna be like my next collection or something like that it was we was gonna be modeling some more lingerie so i'm just like oh fudgies i wasn't down for that anyway but i'm in the group chat on instagram so um i muted it because i knew i was gonna do it i just was i should have said something and been professional but i'm talking about her being unprofessional but i couldn't even speak up for myself and be like hey i don't want to continue and do whatever with you anymore so i'm just in a group chat and she's talking about the photo shoot for all the girls like thank you guys here's the details for the photo shoot hey y'all i'm editing right now and um i actually just woke up so if you talk about me you're being anti-black so i'm not gonna put my face in the camera but i'm going through my instagram and i'm just looking at the group chat and i actually found um some receipts so i'm going to insert that into the video i found the receipts of her telling us you know we're going to do a um photo shoot in the airbnb i found a flyer of the thing starting saying that the prices for the airbnb start at 100 because she told us to pay 150 and then also i didn't even remember that they said that the um photo shoot was midnight until that's not a little sus i'm also going through the group chat now and i see that she actually sent some pictures of like the models from uh, the fashion show so i'm gonna insert those pictures too but i'm gonna just you know put emojis over their faces just for you know privacy issues because who's to say that they didn't have the same perception as me and didn't want to really model andre for real she tried to scam me she was like um yeah 
um i'm renting out this airbnb for us to do like different scenes in the house for the lingerie and um you have it until i think it was like i think it was like until that weekend to pay um to, to secure your spot mind you it was like five or six of us at the show and she added some other models that weren't in the, that show but i guess that model with her before or that's one model with her i don't know i never met them and she was like yeah so pay your 150 and you can come and do a shoot we're gonna have all this we will have bottles what how you gonna sit here and say this is how i'm compensating you this is how i'm thanking you for investing your time into my business and helping me and doing etc 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 and you up here trying to charge me 150 for airbnb for a photo shoot and y'all she i'm still in that group chat to this day i'm not gonna lie the girls was cool or whatever even though they were former strippers you know i'm not judging them for their lifestyles but I'm just, I'm just never, ever doing that again. I'm never working with any of them again. And it was just very unprofessional and yeah, period. So now we're about to go into advice I will give to anybody that's wanting to model in Atlanta that's not signed. For one, go to casting calls. Like that's what I'm, I'm doing now. I'm going to casting calls. I'm following casting call pages on Instagram. These are like legit modeling gigs, like legit things like legit catwalks legit casting calls legit practices all, all of it everything is legit with a casting call something that specifically says hey i need a model this height um from these times or whatever and if they want you to do lingerie or whatever they'll put that on there they might be like hey i'm looking for a model 25 plus um you have to be 5 11 um be prepared to stay here between this time and this time, you know, it has everything in the specifics and it'll tell you what you'll be modeling if it's something more explicit. Another thing, stand your ground. Like, no matter what happens as a model, you know you, you know your essence. Like, don't want fame or success or whatever so bad that you compromise in your own morality, your own values for things that really don't matter. If you don't feel comfortable doing something, say that. Like, know your worth, walk out, do what you need to do, girl. And that's all I really got for today. I'm really sad that this had to happen. I really wish I could have gave y'all full experience because I was really looking forward to doing part two. And that's another reason why I prolonged this video for so long. Cause I was like, dang, I'm just not going to do it because it was a bad experience. But I feel like y'all probably like, girl, you promised us a part two. So y'all was, you know, entitled to y'all part two. But that's all I got for y'all for right now. Y'all already know what I'm finna say. I love y'all. Don't miss me too much, but why? Why? Why y'all not gonna miss me too much? Why? Oh, because we four lifers.